All right, here we go. We're going to start the Melrose Volunteer Fire Department badge. Began with just a picture of the embroidered patch. Had my designer vectorize it for me, get everything epoxy and lay ready on my end, and then we can go ahead and start. We're going to start with the colors that are all the way in the background. That's going to be the white, red, and gold. So you can see here I'm pouring all the white pockets, and then next is going to be all of the red pockets and then all the gold pockets. I could have done this red all in one giant pocket, but it just would have been a little bit more difficult to have it level out perfectly level. So I broke it up into five different sections, obviously top, bottom, left, right, and then the red border. Once it starts to gel up, you wanna go back and put your texture and swirls in it to give it that really unique epoxy look. And then here, as you can see, we're going back with the final color, the gold, and we're gonna fill uh, the remainder of that area with the gold. At this point, everything has been pocketed. Nothing has been V-carved. So once that's done, we can go ahead and flatten it. As you can see, most of it is flattened. Some of it was a little bit low, not to worry. You can go ahead and still continue on with the design here. All of this lettering has been pocketed and we're filling it with a straight white. So there's no metallics in this white whatsoever. Once that's done, we've got all the colors done for the first layer. We can start to work on the second layer, which is this Maltese cross and the design inside that center white circle. So uh, the Maltese cross in this example is gonna be red, gold, and then uh, some lettering, some black lettering inside the gold of the Maltese cross. Once that's done, we can move on to the final layer, which is the very front layer, which is this blue cross here. Um, this is in the very front of the design. It does overlap a corner of the Maltese cross just a little bit. And um, as you can see here, what I'm doing at this point is just putting some swirls in it once it started to gel up. So again, we're, we're going through these colors systematically from the back all the way to the front. You can see the corner of the cross there does overlap that Maltese cross as well. I chose to use a flat white here instead of a metallic white. That way you can see a clear separation between the metallic pearl white background and the white that's in the border around that blue cross. So it's the same white that's in the lettering there as well. Uh, this We're coming down the home stretch here. This final color is going to be the brown and then after that it gets flattened. Again, just like it got flattened earlier in the process. And then we go ahead and sand it with 80 and 180. Uh, to remove all of the tram lines. Once we're done sanding, we can blow it off with a microfiber, get all of the major dust out like that, and then um, spray a little bit of 91% isopropyl alcohol on it to lift up the rest of the dust that may be in any hook marks or sanding scratches that are left. So once it's all clean and dry and ready to go, uh, after all of that process, we can bring it down into the epoxy room, tack it off, make sure it's dust-free, dirt-free, and squared away, Mix up your top coat of clear epoxy, pour it on, spread it around, torch the bubbles once it's time to torch the bubbles and walk away and come back later and look at that. We've got all the colors just popping very beautifully. It looks great. Customer's going to be very happy on this one. If you'd like to learn how to do this, if you'd like to learn how to make, take logos and create amazing epoxy inlays like that, visit, visit our website, executivefitllc.com.